Good morning and welcome to the video on how I weave away my tails. Now, tails that creep out, I might kill my parrot today. I just might. If it's not her, it's the dash hunt, and both of them are equally annoying. Tails that creep out make our work look substandard, and it's embarrassing to say the least, but I think I have a secret that I can share with you that will take that problem away. Let's talk needles for a moment. These type of needles are what you will find in a yarn shop. They are big and they are blunt. They've got blunt tips. This one has a little bit of a bent foot which makes it very nice to work with, but I virtually never use them. Instead, I go for chenille needles. This is a little John James pebble. John James is very popular in South Africa. And, oh, if I can get it open. Chenille needles are like tapestry needles in that they've got big eyes, but they've got sharp tips. Ow, sorry, that wasn't meant, but yeah, that definitely illustrates the point. So I always use chenille needles. Now, let me show you a little trick. I'm going to weave away this little blue tail here, but it will be too bulky to go into the needle, or it might be, depends on what needle you're using. I normally use this one for my Moya project. Uh, there you can see the eye nicely. It's a little bit small, but the chenille needles that I've purchased this week in the pebble is much nicer, so I'm going to use those. But in case I wanted to use this one, if you take your tail and you just take a scissor and you lightly brush the uh, scissor over the yarn, you take off the surface fiber that's loose and that thins the yarn somewhat so that it's easier to go through a needle. You will see some fluff here and some fluff there off the scissor and that's the surface fiber that got removed so it's easier to get it through a needle. Now I'm going to use this chenille needle that I got from the yarn shop where I gave a class last week. Every time I go into a yarn shop I look for chenille needles. So I've got quite a collection because they just work so nicely. Alright. We are going to go through underneath the feet of the stitches and we're going to make a little tunnel. So I catch both feet of all the stitches. Let's take about four. That should be enough. Let's make it five. Okay, there I've got the feet of five stitches and I'm going to go through and I won't pull it too tight. Right. Now I'm going to come back through the same little tunnel that I've created but I'm going to skip the first foot because otherwise I'm just going to take it out again. So I skip the first foot of the last stitch. Can you see? And then I go through the little tunnel purposely catching the yarn that's there already the previous time. And I go through the entire tunnel back to the other end. Pull through. And I'm going to repeat this a second time. So I leave the foot, the first foot, to keep my yarn there and I go through the same tunnel purposely going through the strands of yarn that are there already. Oops, sorry, I caught one here. Alright, let's go through. And now I cut it off. None of zigzag weaving in different directions or anything. Why does this work so well? It is because the chenille needles are sharp. They split the yarn as you go through. So that first tail that got pulled through is now split as I go back and again as I come back. On the right side, there's nothing to be seen. But on the wrong side, it's just a small little bump. Now, watch this. Uh, I haven't 
ended off this last row specifically for this purpose. So I'm going to frog this row. Now I'm approaching the stitches that we used to sew away. And there the trouble starts. I can only frog up to there. Can't go any more than that. So this method is so sturdy that you won't be able to frog afterwards. So make sure that your project is completed and correct before you start to weave away your tails. Otherwise you're going to cry in your hands. Trust me, been there, done that, learn from my mistakes. You can't frog now because what happened is when I went through with the sharp needle, it also caught my working yarn. Look there. You see? Now these won't come out. Look at that. I can pull and I'm pulling really hard. I can't get them out. And it's simply because the sharp needle has been splitting the yarn back and forth. It's as simple as that. Invest in chenille needles. Now if you can't find them in your yarn shop, go to a haberdashery shop or a shop that specializes in embroidery. They will always have chenille needles. They will see that it looks exactly the same from this end. It looks like tapestry needles. The only difference is the point. A tapestry needle will have a blunt point and a chenille needle will have a sharp point. And that is it. It's as easy as that. I hope this helps you and I hope you never have another tail that creeps out on you.